Hello YouTube. Just doing a little spot of DIY at home anyway. Well, it's long overdue. This job, I started a little while back. And then I lost uh, lost uh, my momentum with it because I missed it. What I was actually after was the lighting point uh, for the downstairs front room, which is under that board I guess. And, uh, well, I missed it. Uh, I missed it by quite a way. I have no idea how I mismeasured that. I took up a board across here. Uh, anyway, I found the lighting point I was after, uh, which is there. So... Random board. I might be able to use that for my uh, uh, fixing. You can see it's that sort of lava and plaster, which would be lovely to get a fixing into. So um, I'm going to go and poke a hole up from downstairs and see exactly what we're dealing with. As you can see, this house is lovely and straight. I mean, the boards are straight <laughs> and the joists run out. <sighs> you see, they run out quite a way. So it's already run out by over. 25mm over an inch over the course of that two foot board. <laughs> I just put them on top. Yeah, so I need to move my lighting point from there to about there. So let's go and have a look downstairs. <sighs> really? Yeah, that's the lighting point I got, and I'm gonna move it to over there, center, because I want to put up this big light here. So I have to do some measuring first. Damn, it means get my tape measure. Ugh, can't keep hold of them for the life of me. Right, okay. X marks the spot, and that's exactly where the light is gonna go in the center. So let's stick a screwdriver through the lab. And go and find it above. Yeah, I think I'm in right for a laugh. Brilliant. That's what we like to see. A screwdriver in the middle of the ceiling. Yeah. Should have disconnected that lot whilst I was down there. Ah, the fuse board. A little bit of take isolation. Magic. Get rid of the tape. All of the tape. All of the tape. All disconnected. Gonna pull the old connections up. <sighs> Woohoo! And now make a fixing block for this light. Didn't change the depth setting. Yeah. Drop that in the hole where the mark is. There's the mark. There's the mark. That'll do. A couple of nails. Screwdriver. And drill hole for cable. For the minute, cable through the hole. Time for junction box. One junction box, nicely terminated and in position. Mm, let's put this board back for now. No, actually, I changed my mind. Let's get the light up first and working. Couple of connections to make off into the horrible little connections in here push fit yucky and got to put the hook in the ceiling mousy's come to help haven't you mousy hey you want to help what's up yes i'm putting a light up Oh. 
back now. Off you go. Oh, it's up. It does hang pretty low, to be honest. I might have to adjust it a little bit more. So, let's do the big switch on. Click. Oh, there's the kicker. The only ES lamp we have in the household is a 9 watt CFL. So, looks like I'm going shopping tonight for a large 20 watt, hmm, 15, 20 watt cob LED to fit this. A beast. So that we can actually see, once we finish this room, what we are eating. Yes, I think that's quite cool. <sighs> We're not done yet. Got to put the full wards back. Just a few nails to go back in this board. I've drilled the other nails out so the, the heads aren't majorly good. And the only other nails I've got are these ones. So that I have to do for now. So here we go. And now this one's a bit of a trap and that's what you call it when you can stand on it and uh, tip up. So I'm going to put a little batten down there. I bought a couple of bits of wood in from the garden but it's not big enough. Oh and I've dropped it down the cap. Oh dear. Right, never mind. I'll be back. Done and done. Hmm. Not bad for a couple of hours after work. Uh, I would say I do prefer lifting floorboards. This stuff is horrible especially when you can't find the nails. And when using a circular saw, always set it to the correct depths. You never know if you're going to have pipes or wires uh, at the top end of the joist. So always set that to the just under the depth of one of these, which is about 18 mil. You never know; you might come become unlucky if you were to go all the way through. Uh, as it was, I did know that the the cabling was that way. And we have no plumbing upstairs at all, so I wouldn't expect to hit any pipes. But there, just just for argument's sake, I had that on the end in case anyone goes chopping through pipes. Yeah, move to lighting point. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.